All right, guys. To get this back off, to get to the wiring, if you go this route, there is a push pin right here, a push pin right there. There's one same area on both sides, and they were a pain to get out. Uh, you gotta take the uh, the hand bracket off, whatever you want to call it. Those four bolts. You gotta take the rubber snubbers off right here on each side. And uh, I do believe that's it. Like I said, the most pain in the butt part is getting those push pins out. They're really a pain in the butt. Uh, be careful you don't break them tabs. There's two tabs that go into your rear back there. Be sure you don't break those off. And that's about it. Once you get those all them bolts off and then push tabs out, uh, you just pull the tabs out here on each side and it, it'll come straight back. Just like I said, be careful with them tabs. But those push pins are really a freaking pain and you got your uh, cable here it just pushes in to a to a holder in that in your uh, back piece so that's nothing major you gotta take your seat off overall it's pretty easy except for those push pins those push pins are a freaking pain in the butt all right guys just thought I'd uh, tell you because uh, I wasn't sure. I didn't know they had no push pins. I, I knew they had, oh yeah, and there's some up here. Also, there's two push pins on each side with that little plastic plate. Uh, I might not have to take them out. I don't know about those, but there's ones on each side here. And they're really a pain in the butt. Two on each side. All right, have a good one, guys. All right, guys, this is the finished result. This is from Jeep Joe's Lighting and Stereo. See it change? This is the RGB. It's got a remote with it. It's got different functions. Of course, you got your demo mode. You can do the speed. You can lower it. You can go through the colors. All right, guys, that's the finished product. Have a good one.